there are colors which work the best with all kinds of photography mainly they are whites grays and beige and these work with product food fashion newborn kids all types of photography also you know uh, there are a lot of materials that we play with so there's canvas there's mdf board for the bigger sizes we have to go with canvas but for smaller product photography we can always go with mdf board so that we can play with more texture on it backdrop is a supporting character it's not the main character so that is number 1 that keeping that in mind what we do is that we try to create an entire mood so the backdrop has to match the mood it cannot be that the backdrop is overpowering or the backdrop is the main character it's always at the back so that's why it's a backdrop whenever we are having a discussion regarding a backdrop it starts with what color scheme are they looking for the textures or the characters they are looking for in a backdrop and of course it goes along with their mood board that they've created for the shoot and then according to their liking we create some swatches and then once something is passed we'll start create we just start creating the backdrop sometimes yes uh, it depends on what they are wanting to do how they want to play with the props and the settings like for example if it's a pretty grungy shoot and there are a lot of props that are going to be in place then the backdrop needs to be in accordance you know it cannot be completely different many a times it happens that backdrop is one of the main characters there's nothing else but a model and a backdrop so in, when that is the case then you know our responsibility increases as to giving them exactly what they want the way they want the way they have imagined it so that there are no surprises at the end first we get the canvas of the desired size mm -hmm. and then basically it's a primed canvas and then the colors or the characters or the texture that we've decided upon so it's basically a that. 10 to 12 ounce canvas so that the fall is very good because that is very important you know when you use a paper backdrop or when you use any other material the fall is very important so that is where the first thing starts after that is when you go with layering so the first layer would be the base color which she would decide with that there'll be the second layer which would create a texture on an aura which is going to get carried forward and the last layer would be the finishing touch so that is basically it's a layering process it's pretty much like so how you do sometimes there can be three layers sometimes there can be six layers it depends on how much character we want to add to the backdrop today's shoot was all about having a, a grunge effect in the backdrops however there were two contradicting personalities so when we saw the a uh, dress that was going to go into that or the kind of makeup that was going to happen there was a bit of grunginess plus a bit of shimmer now both are very contradicting so i think that is where we had a discussion as to we would do two backdrops which would be a layering kind of a concept and yeah and one would be subtle and the other would have some shimmer kind of an effect so basically we just added some silver so that that shimmer comes out and then two personalities of the backdrops they come out really nice backdrops when we say there are a lot of people there are a lot of people selling paper backdrops but hand painted backdrops still in the world is rare so hand painted backdrops as a genre was started by artists who were into abstract art so she being an abstract artist that's how she got into creating hand painted backdrops so hand painted backdrops is a very niche and premium product and once you start using a hand painted backdrop and the fall that canvas has i don't think you would really enjoy a plain paper backdrop and i think that's what we've seen yeah absolutely and then the drama that gets created with a hand painted backdrop a paper backdrop can't give give you the same thing no not exactly so basically it all depends on the mood boards that you create for every shoot so basically a canvas hand painted canvas backdrop can be even used for 10 years or maybe more years like it's never going to be you know you can't tear it or anything like that and plus it depends on how many what's your composition basically you know if you want to add a lot of character like elements to the shoot you like in the recent shoot we've added so many sculptures so agar shayad aapko you know you just want to use it plain as a backdrop with the main 
person in front you can use it like that or by adding some props and stuff like that you can change the whole look of the backdrop plus it's a artist grade canvas so an artist grade canvas can go on for centuries like yeah. mona lisa is made on an artist grade canvas right and these backdrops can always be repainted that's the beauty of using it using a canvas it's recyclable it, it can be repainted and it's the best thing you can do for nature and you can always frame it as an art piece in your house <laughs> if that so yes if that's a thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> So again, uh, this becomes a question depending on where you stay. So for example, in a country like India, a hand painted backdrop which is say 7 by 12 feet or 7 by 15 feet, uh, we sell it for around 12 to 15 thousand rupees. But the same thing is sold in US or Europe for starting from thousand dollars. So do you see the price difference is huge. So that is when people are slowly trying and that is our mission as well, you know, that we want to have art for all. So that is how we started hand painted backdrops at a pretty affordable range. However, as and when the awareness goes through, this product will go through. So that is our vision and our thought behind this. And yes, with, with uh, smaller backdrops, of course, uh, she would be able to guide you better. Yeah, so with smaller backdrops basically which are used for food and product photography, the range is quite affordable. That it's, it's, it's just basically 1400 to 2000 and uh, you know, you, people get a variety like you know when it comes to backdrops, they can play with the color scheme, moods and different characters of the board with their whole concept and everything. So basically it helps you do a proper photo shoot at home. That is the whole idea behind say, smaller backdrops. So there are a lot of home bakers who would, you know, want to shoot the cake that they make on a daily basis and they can use these backdrops to have good shots with your normal Android phone on an iPhone. And it works, it works well. I would say that my uh, inspiration is from nature or from things that I see around. That is my way of imagining things. Like if I would see a broken cement textured wall somewhere, that would be my next backdrop idea. But with her, and for me, it's I very think, different. Yeah, for me, I think exploration is the key. So basically to play with colors and textures, every day you'll come up with something new the third day. So I really like exploring stuff like that on my own. So yes. What happened today was complete magic. Uh, see, the thing is that everyone has their own role to play. Uh, backdrop, the lights, photographer, everyone. But the goal has to be common. So I think the vision that everyone collectively had, the behind the scenes meetings that all of us had, I think uh, the backdrop, the lights, the sculpture, everything was in sync. And I think it took everything towards a common goal. That is why I would say that uh, what we'd imagine or what we tried to create from our perspective, from the backdrop perspective, worked out really well. And justice was done to everything and everyone that got together here and created this beautiful show. Yeah, I would say the same thing. <laughs>